What's up guys? Welcome to another edition of the Idea Log. Today's idea I have for you is all about anxiety, anxiousness. What is it? Where does it come from and how do we stop it? So in order to talk about this, we have to really dissect what anxiety is. And uh, the best way we can do that is to talk about feedback loops and uh, I'll make an analogy. I'm pretty sure this one originally came from Alan Watts, but it's a beautiful analogy. So what happens every single time that we are out uh, at a concert or we're at a, a lecture hall or an auditorium or some sort of gathering with a lot of people and a PA system, you know, speakers and uh, a microphone? Well, someone always inevitably holds the microphone a little bit weird and the next thing you know, there is uh, the feedback from the microphone which sounds like, Whoo! It, uh, you know, this always happens. Why does this happen? Because the microphone is an amplification device. You sing into it, you speak into it, and your sounds, your vibrations from your mouth go into it. It is digitally recreated. It is sent through either the cord or through the air to the speaker, AKA the PA system. And then from the PA system, the sound is, you know, reconstructed and comes back out and it's your voice, but it's louder, right? So the reason this feedback happens is because people hold the microphone angled towards the speaker. So when the microphone is angled towards the speaker, now the sounds that came out of the microphone are coming out louder and then they're going back into the speaker and then they go right back out and then they come even louder and then they go right back out. And it is this vicious feedback loop that happens and in under two seconds, it reaches its audible limit, which is whoo. So, the easiest thing, someone finally comes over and grabs the microphone and points it away. They don't even realize what's happening, what, what the science is behind it. They just know, you gotta move it this way. So this right here is a perfect analogy for how our brain is working. So our conscious awareness, our conscious attention, our focus, what we focus on, uh, the philosopher Daniel Dennett talks about it being a spotlight of attention, okay? So you focus on something, it is your spotlight of attention. So. Uh, it is in a way kind of like a microphone. It is an amplification device. Your conscious awareness is amplifying what you're thinking about, what you're looking at, what you're focusing on. And if you're, suppose you're like me and you're, you have anxiety about going in, up on stage and doing stand up or doing one of these videos, um, it's real easy to get into a feedback loop of anxiety where you get anxious and then, oh my God, I'm, I'm, I'm really nervous about this. And then you start to get nervous about being nervous. And then you start to sweat and then you go, oh my God, I'm like really nervous. And then you start to get really nervous about being really nervous. And before you know it, I, I, I'm not going on stage. I can't, I just can't. And then I drive home and I don't do it. So this always happens. Why does this happen? It's because you're, you're getting into a feedback loop of anxiety. And how do you stop it? Well, the easiest thing is to focus out. You have to focus away from the feeling. So in order to explain exactly what I mean, we have to talk about what the brain, how it's set up real quick. So the brain, you have the, your neocortex, that's what gives us, that's what makes us uniquely human. That's what allows us to think linearly, think abstractly. Then you have your limbic system. So the limbic system is where all your feelings originate. So if you see how this brain is set up, you have your neocortex and then your limbic system. So all the sensory information, all the uh, you know information streaming in through all your senses goes up through the brain stem. It goes into the limbic system first. It's processed by the limbic system. There is a feeling attached to it, placed on it, and then it floats up to your neocortex where you can actually think about it. So everything is gonna start as a feeling first. If you've ever experienced that where it's like, I, I just, I, I don't know, I, I don't, you, can't find, you can't find the words for your feelings, like, you know, you know you're upset, but I can't figure out how to tell you exactly how upset I am. I need to go, go for a walk. I need to just go, go do something. It's because you need to process it. You have this feeling, you know how you feel about the situation, but you can't put it into words and you can't explain it until you process it. So when you think about all of this, anxiety, fear, this starts as a feeling and then it floats upwards and then you focus on it. And if you focus on it, it is gonna be that feedback loop. It is gonna be 
uh, just like the microphone, it is gonna keep getting worse. It's gonna go in a circle, and it's gonna run a loop, and it's just gonna keep getting worse and worse and worse and worse until you focus out. And one of the ways you can do that is with that mental walk that we talked about. You gotta calm your mind. You have to be with yourself for a second, close your eyes, go find a corner, take five minutes, and just start trying to think about nothing. And when the thought comes in, you know, it's for me, it's like anxiety about doing stand up or something. It's like, no one thinks you're, gonna, you're not gonna be funny, you're gonna forget your stuff. Okay, oh well, peace. Um, you know, then the next thought comes in. Uh, you're gonna flub up in the middle of everything. You're, that new joke's never gonna work. Like, oh well, peace. And as all these thoughts keep coming up, all these fears keep coming up, I'm going to machete them away with my mantra, oh well, peace. And as they keep coming, oh well, peace. And I'm gonna do this for as long as it takes. It might take five minutes, it might take 10 minutes, it might take three minutes, but you get better at this. And as it starts coming up, you start to be in touch with more about how you feel about things. And when you do that, you can override that fear circuit. You can figure your own way out of your own problem. A feedback loop runs because you can't see a way out. So I don't know the source of your feedback loop or your anxiety or your fear about something, but I can tell you that the secret is always going to be some sort of focusing out. It's going to be some sort of focusing your spotlight of attention away from your feelings. And whether that means taking that mental walk, that uh, calming practice where you get to confront them directly, which is probably the best thing, or perhaps it's just, okay, I'm focusing too much on myself and I should be focusing on others. Um, this isn't even about me. I'm here to give these jokes. I'm here to make them laugh. Why am I thinking about me? It's not about me. I'm here to make them laugh. You know, I mean, apply this to however you want to apply it, but that is today's idea we're sharing. That's how you stop anxiety. It's called a feedback loop. If you guys like what I'm doing, please share the idea. You don't have to share the video, but share the idea because this is crucial here. So many people suffer from anxiety and they suffer from these feedback loops of fear or whatever it happens to be and nervousness. And once you know the science behind things, it helps you figure another way uh, out of your problem. And so that's what I'm here to do. Just offer up a little bit of uh, something that has helped me. So anyway, thank you guys for watching and liking and subscribing, and I will see you guys tomorrow.